The next article I wanted to talk about is titled Rick Wiles, A Satanic Zionist Power is Controlling America. This is brand new. This is on the Friendly Atheist website, and it's written by Beth Stoneburner. But the video just came out. Now, we're going to watch the video, but before we watch the video, I wanted to give you guys a little reminder of who Rick Wiles is. It's been a while since I've covered this guy. No pun intended. So let's give this video a watch and see what he had to say. We've reached a point. I, I mean, I'm a free enterprise person, and, and I, I, I have no, um, no ill will towards anybody in their financial success. I, hey, you want to be a zillionaire? You're a quazillionaire? I don't care, all right? You want to go buy a planet? Go buy a planet. I don't care. But when you use your money and power to change my life, to take away my rights, to try to force things on me that I object to, that I find morally repulsive, when you try to restrict my free speech, when you try to promote population control, you want to pump vaccines into my body. Oh, please, dude. Just lay on all the conspiracy theories, please. Let's have all of them. Needless to say, this guy is a conspiracy theorist. Now, in this segment that we're watching here, what he was actually talking about is he said that he wanted to eliminate billionaires or he wanted to take their money all of their money all of the money that billionaires own he wanted to take it away from them um, specifically listing bill gates mark zuckerberg creator of facebook and jack dorsey creator of twitter and he said he wanted to take all of their money and kind of as an afterthought just an aside he's like you know what we'll give it to the poor and he said i don't want the government to have it that's terrible that's a terrible idea so my question is, who's taking the money if it's not the government? I mean, there's an institution who takes money from people and, and puts it toward programs that people need. It's called the government. The government takes that money from people and puts it into social programs. It's literally exactly what he's talking about. But that's really the danger behind this rhetoric. This is populism. This is populist rhetoric. This guy is a hard right Republican extremist pastor, televangelist. True News is his TV show. He is very, very extreme hard right. And he's saying things here that I can agree with. I would love it if we could tax billionaires more and spread the wealth around so that the income inequality gap isn't as wide. I would love to see that. Somehow... I have come to the same conclusion as this hard right extremist evangelical that billionaires should be taxed or that we should take the money away, actually, not that they should be taxed. He doesn't want them taxed. He just wants to take their money. That's what populism is, ultimately. That's the danger. The fact that the left and the right can agree on something but they agree for completely different reasons, and their ultimate goals are completely different from each other. This is the kind of thing that gets people sucked into like an alt-right pipeline, a neo-Nazi pipeline, that kind of thing. Let's keep watching this clip by Rick Wiles. When you want to change society, you know what? You're my enemy. Mm. You're my enemy. And the only way you're able to do it is because you're a billionaire. So then we need to take away your billions. Yeah, black and white thinking us versus them, good versus evil thinking. Um, that kind of mentality is a hallmark of a cult. You find that in every cult from here to Texas. They all have an enemy that they've dehumanized. That is dangerous. Dehumanizing people like that is a step in the wrong direction. Bill Gates, if he was working a job, seven to five, if he was going to work like everybody else, Bill Gates wouldn't be doing this stuff, would he? This is a reasonably normal clip, kind of. I mean, he kind of goes off into la-la land a little bit when he talks about you know, pumping vaccines into you and censoring your free speech and all of that other shit. But the real danger here is the populist rhetoric. This next clip, though, this should give you a clear idea of who this guy really is. The quintessential Rick Wiles. Let's watch. Run that video again and with no audio, okay? Uh... We'll talk over it, okay? So, so watch Mr. McConnell here. 
I know what he's about to say, and you're just like, my my brow is so fucking furrowed. It doesn't get more furrowed than this. It's about to get fucking cringy. Strap in. What are we watching for? Right there. His hands. What, what are you seeing, Doc? Are you telling us he loves us? Right yeah. there. Look at that. Look at that. What, what is Mitch? Are you sending us a signal? Oh, my God. Mitch McConnell has his hands just he's kind of putting his hands together like kind of Mr. Burns style, you know, and this dude is reading it as an Illuminati signal. You've got to be kidding me. I'll let our audience decide. What do you think it is? I'll let our audience decide. What do you think it is? Oh, my God, dude. These people have no shame. They have no shame. There he is. And he does it for about a full minute in his uh, presentation here. Is it a Masonic? hand sign yes it is so I mean, and he does it for a good solid minute minute and a half all the way uh, through this so this is an embarrassment these people have no shame even if they were on our side even if they agreed with us even if they were fighting for the right causes even if they wanted to increase uh, inclusion, if they wanted to m let people compete in the sports categories that they identify with, if they wanted to further gay marriage, make it more acceptable, gay relationships, make them more acceptable, I still wouldn't want anything to do with these people. These people are conspiracy theorists. They believe in violence. They believe in an ends justify the means mentality. That's what these people are all about. Rick Wiles, Greg Locke, Johnny Enlow, uh, Robin Bullock, all of these people, Kat Kerr, they all believe in this ends justify the means mentality. Anything to accomplish our goals, lying, cheating, manipulating, stealing, violence, whatever it takes, we'll do it. That's the difference between an atheist like myself. That's the difference between me as an atheist and these hard right evangelicals. This isn't a difference of opinion. This is a difference in morals. Are you willing to commit acts of violence to accomplish your goals? I say no, they say yes. It's disturbing. So now that we've given the lead up to who Rick Wiles is, let's watch the video that brought me here in the first place. The reason the ruling deep state of America hates the Russian people and wants to destroy them. It's really at the heart of it. It is the satanic Zionist power that overthrew the Russian government in 1917, did a human blood sacrifice. Okay, now we're exiting reality and entering delusion land all over again. That did not take long. Okay, so he's saying that Jewish people performed a blood sacrifice on an empire, on the Russian Empire, question mark? Is that what he's saying? In 17, did a human blood sacrifice of the Romanov family. Yeah. Of the Romanov family, okay. A satanic ritual where they slaughtered the Romanovs. Okay. I'm sorry. This is just too fucking much, man. This is too much. This is too fucking much. First of all, I just want to point out Jewish people, by and large, don't believe in Satan because Satan didn't exist in the Old Testament. Um, there is a single mention that people usually bring up when I say that, and it's, the, it's Job. The Old Testament has the book of Job, and in the book of Job, it details supposedly Satan attacking this guy to prove that God is, you know, he's only loyal to God because of what he has given him. That doesn't actually talk about Satan in the original text. It talks about an adversarial angel, basically. It doesn't say Satan. The, the concept of Satan didn't really exist until the New Testament. And even then, it didn't exist until like way, way later. The fact that this guy is buying into this conspiracy that... Jewish people performed a satanic ritual, that just makes it that much more absurd. It's already absurd to begin with. It makes it that much more. The Romanovs is a satanic blood sacrifice. That same group of Satanists that overthrew the Russian people. I thought they were Jewish. He said Zionist plot. They're Zionists, right? 
not Satanists, but Zionists. Are they one and the same to this guy? Does he believe they're the same? Well, 1917, that's what controls America today. That spirit right there is what is destroying the United States of America, destroying our freedom, destroying our culture. That spirit right there. That's what's making war against Russia. They overthrew it. They got free. They got out from under its bondage. And so who's under its bondage now? The American people. Right. We're under the bondage of that same satanic spirit. I'm waiting for him to crack a smile and start laughing, but it's not happening. This is so sad that people genuinely believe this, that, that people listen to this guy. They're listening to him and believing what he's saying. It's heartbreaking and it's embarrassing. In satanic spirit. Who attacks us? Who's always attacking us? Zionist. The Zionist. Obviously, Zionist is code for Jewish person. According to the dictionary, Zionist is a supporter of Zionism, a person who believes in the development and protection of a Jewish nation in what is now Israel. Zionists are who this guy is attacking. If that's not a dog whistle for being anti-Jewish, I don't fucking know what is. Like, at what point do we start calling these people Nazis, really? Like, no hyperbole, no joking around. When do we start using that term for these people, in all seriousness, really? There's nobody else attacking me, Zionists. It's not every Jewish person. It's the Zionists. It's the satanic Zionists. They are satanic. And all Zionists are are Bolsheviks wearing different hats. You better believe it. <laughs> Seriously, man. These, these people have exited reality and entered delusion land. That's old all they Henry, are. Old Henry Kissinger is one of them. Old Alan Greenspan is one of them. Who has weakened America? Greenspan and Kissinger. Okay, first of all, I know Henry Kissinger. I believe he, wasn't he the Secretary of State during Vietnam? He's a really, really bad guy, actually. He did a lot to hurt the country and the world more generally. But it wasn't because he was Jewish that had literally nothing to do with it. Nothing. I didn't even know the guy was Jewish. I'm just assuming he is based on fucking context clues here. Based on what old Rick Wiles is saying. But what is it about being Jewish that is inherently bad to this guy? This is disturbing rhetoric. Seriously. Disturbing rhetoric coming from this guy. I'm saying this... All sincerity, no hyperbole behind this. This is how World War II happened. This is the mindset that people held right here. This is it. This is what people believed in Germany in World War II. This is how it starts. We should all be worried. Now they want war with Russia because the Russian people got free of their chains and bondage and returned to Christ. That's what it's about. They returned, the Russian people returned to Christ. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know whether the Russian people returned to Christ or not, quote unquote. I know the church has always played a really big role in Vladimir Putin's control of power in Russia. And as a result, Putin has always been very interested in pushing the state religion and preventing people from worshiping in more fringe religions like Jehovah's Witnesses. I assume what he's talking about is it used to be a nationally atheist country, I believe, because it was communist and, and China is still nationally atheist. But I, I guess what he's saying is they came back to Christ. They didn't really. Putin is just using it as a means of power and control, but that's another subject for another day. Let's give this article a read by Beth Stoneburner, see what she said. Right-wing pundit and professional anti-Semite Rick Wiles, who said months ago that we should execute supposed liberal traitors, now claims the United States is under control of satanic Zionists. Uh, something else to make note of about this, um, usually as I go through this, I highlight, you know, I highlight things. I I've always done that. Guess what happens when I try to highlight now? 
Alert, content is protected. Son of a bitch, I can't highlight. That's really weird, I wonder why. Right-wing pundit and professional anti-Semite Rick Wiles, who said months ago that we should execute supposed liberal traitors, now claims the United States is under the control of satanic Zionists, quote-unquote. So this is a quote from the video clip that we just watched. It's the satanic Zionist power that overthrew the Russian government in 1917. The same group of Satanists that overthrew the Russian people in 1917, that's what controls America today. Now they want war with Russia because the Russian people got free of their chains and bondage and returned to Christ. That's what it's about. The Russian people returned to Christ. End quote. This is Beth Stoneburner. It's not every Jewish person, quote unquote. Well, thanks for that. The Jews feel so much better now. The insult, satanic, also doesn't hold much water when it's used to describe a demographic that these days doesn't even believe in Satan. Exactly what I said. Good point. You know, for as old as anti-Semitism is, you'd think its followers would at least come up with some original material. Accusations of blood libel are just as illegitimate today as they were back in the medieval period. All they do is leverage more unjustified hate against an already marginalized group. I could be wrong here, but I believe Beth Stoneburner is a Christian, so I find it fascinating that a Christian on an atheist blog is defending Jewish people. I See, this is really the key difference between myself as an atheist and religious extremists on the far right. This is the key difference. A level of morality that doesn't seem to exist on the other side of this debate. I don't believe in destroying people and their reputations by any means. I don't believe in violence or lying, or cheating, or stealing, or any of that shit. I don't believe that it's right to do this shit just to accomplish your political or religious goals or whatever. I don't believe in that shit. But here we are with these people, like, lying and attacking people and destroying people's reputations and all of this other insane shit just to accomplish their political goals. When will they exit delusion land and enter reality with the rest of us?